What is going on guys? We are back playing some more on the All the Creators server and today we're going to be doing some building and there actually is a reason behind this. So I need to get a house and I did mention I wanted to get a house set up before we start diving into setting up a bunch of other stuff. Obviously I got the farm and everything going so I could start processing ore but it becomes a little bit of a hassle when you don't have a house set up. You have like a little area, you set everything up there, then you make your house and you have to move everything over when really if you just set up the house first, it could have been better designed and saved a lot of time. But that's actually not the main reason I want to set up the house. If we look here, there are a lot of people on right now, obviously not everyone, but if we look down the list, I am the only one with zero deaths. And I actually am taking great pride in that. It's been a while since I've played on a server that actually is a death counter, and so I thought it'd be fun to see how long we can keep it at zero. I prefer to keep it at zero indefinitely, but I really don't have confidence in myself to continue doing that, so it'll eventually end. I'm pretty much confident in that. Uh, you know, feel free to take bets as to when I am going to die or how, but for the time being, I'd like to keep it at zero, and I think the best way to do that is a, I need to get some armor, but B, I'd like to make a house. And a prime example of why was that I was just attacked while I was looking something up by a villager that was on fire over here. Uh, a zombie villager, I should say. And, yeah, it's, I mean, I'm getting swarmed by zombies at night. And for some ungodly reason, I do not have a bed yet. Uh, I ran into a little bit of an issue where I was able to duplicate black dye, uh, but it consumed whatever wool I was trying to uh, to dye with it. And it's a little bit of a weird thing. I'm not going to like show you how or anything. I don't think anyone really cares, uh, just because it's actually Edition's black dye. I mean, I don't think anyone's really running out of that anytime soon. But yeah, it got rid of my wool, and I ended up getting you know way more black dye than I needed. So uh, I actually have to actively go out now and kill some more sheep. And I've taken a look around... There really aren't a ton, so, you know, I'll have to make a little bit of a trek around here. I've, I haven't really explored a, well, you know, I've, I've gone a fair bit of, uh, of a way out. But, today we're going to be doing building, like I said, making a house, and that is why my inventory is full of all of these resources here. So, I wasn't positive on how I wanted to design it. It is going to involve stone and lots of types of wood. I don't really think we're going to be using this wood right here. I don't know when the last time someone used that wood was. Uh, I don't think I've ever used that wood, and I can say I'm quite proud of myself for that, but everything else should be good to go. There are some other types I have yet to try. We have some ironwood planks right here, and uh, where is the ironwood? Ironwood right here. I don't know how that'll look. Um, I don't have any spruce right now, but we've got some dark oak wood and dark oak wood planks, which look uh, pretty good, pretty good. So I think what we're going to do is a lot of the building will be done off camera, but I'll probably, you know, figure out kind of a general idea of stuff on camera. And the main reason I'm going to do some of it off is because I want to get pretty much the entire house done today. So I don't want it to be a really, really long video, but I would like to kind of go through my thought process on camera for all of you. So obviously we're making it around this farm. So we run into a crossroads right here. Do we want the house to be symmetrical or asymmetrical? So the main issue that I have with an asymmetrical house is... I think it looks weird when you're doing a wooden, you know, like mansion kind of thing, because then it'll be really boxy. I think the best way to make it not boxy is to have, you know, the entryway and then both sides of it kind of drop back a little bit or forward. But if we have the farm here and then kind of just loop it around, it's going to turn into a big square. And I don't want that. So I think what I'm going to do is either put in a second farm on the other side of this, and I'll have to clear more area over there eventually, or, uh... I will make this farm attached on one side, and then we'll make the other side still have like a, a patch area like this, but it'll be for some other kind of food. Actually, you know what? We should do that. Uh, we should do that for potatoes, I think, because I'm running out of food right now, so potatoes actually would not be a bad thing. Boom. We just solved the problem on camera right now, being proactive. So, what I want to do is kind of outline this farm right here, and I really want to use stone slabs. I don't know why, but all of a sudden, I want to use stone slabs. I have not used them in a very long time, and I think they go pretty well with wood and fences and all that. So we're going to be using these, and it becomes a little bit awkward just because this farm already has uh, a bunch of stuff around it, so we'll just pretend that this isn't here. I'm not going to move it until the house is completely done, but we can go like this, and now I have to decide which side I want the actual, I guess, farmer to be on eventually, 
and I think we're going to put it on this side since the house will run back from here. So we'll put the farmer on this side and yeah, so we'll do the farmer over here and then we can have like an entryway right over here. So in the middle, uh, we could do that. I don't know exactly how I want to set it up over here, but we could just do, um, let's outline this right here in stone slabs too, just because I think that would look good. I've got plenty of stone. Uh, I don't think I'll use up all of it right now just because this will be really the only area I want to put it in. So we'll do this and this. I think it makes it look pretty clean too. I don't know this. I don't know why I don't use stone slabs much. I usually go with, uh, stone bricks, but these just were calling to me right now. So I don't know if we'll do that all the way around on these sides too. That would use up a, a fair bit, but I got to see how they look then when we do fence posts. Now, the next question is what kind of fence posts should we use? Obviously, you know, we've got the regular oak fence. Uh, that's, I mean, it's a classic. It's an oldie, but a goodie. But then we've got the dark oak fences. And I was contemplating using this. Uh, it is really, really dark. Obviously, the spruce is a little bit lighter. But this one's going to throw some heavy contrast in there. But I was contemplating using it. It actually was something I considered. So we can take a look at it. Uh, you know, we've already got this stuff going. Do we have any sticks? No. You know, what? we'll just use the vanilla wood to make sticks because I have a copious amount of that, but not really a ton of the others. So we can do that, right? Yeah, because they have the same same kind of sticks. Okay, so we'll do one of the dark oak wood. We'll get that fence, and then we will do one of the regular fences, and we will see how both of those are going to look if we put them either on the grass or if we put them with stone slabs below. So we can test that out right over here in the front. Ooh, I guess I did not fill in this area completely down here. Okay, so we'll do some stone slabs and I guess I should have left the grass there. So right there, I actually like the contrast. I like it, the yellow behind it, these are really dense yellows right here because obviously they're not just flowers, they're the canola, so I like that. Um, Obviously, we, we can't really see it on grass right now. Uh, okay, so we, we know that one. And I also, actually, I think I like this one more. I think I like this one more. It's a classic. I like it. I think we're going to go with the vanilla fences right now. Um, and I think we're going to put it on top of the stone slabs. So we'll fill this in and... I'm really actually kind of mad that I didn't move that right now because I think it'd be a lot nicer if we could finish this off before we move on to something else. But we'll do the vanilla fences. I think that looks really nice. I think just the stone slab rimming around it looks really clean. And that's kind of what I'm going for here. I will be adding in uh, some sheared leaves later. You know, we're going to need a lot of these. So let's just like, I guess the most we can go with is eight right now because we're running out of sticks. But we'll go with all eight. And we'll put it around the front right here. We can't really do the other side because we can't put down the rest of these uh, stone slabs yet. But I already start. Uh, I already am starting to like the way this looks. So over here, I'll worry about this once the rest of the house is done. But I think what we're going to do now is get the doorway going. And I have to decide how I want to do this. Do I want it to come out a little bit or do I want it to drop back a little bit? We have the option to do either. And I think we're probably going to want it to drop back a little bit. So if we go in here, we could either do one or two. I think we'll just do one. We'll drop it back with that. And then we got to figure out coming over what we want to do. And eventually, obviously, it's going to go way past this farm in terms of going back. So don't worry that there's not, you know, a ton of room around here. But if we drop this in, it'll add a little depth to it. And I think it's time to start busting out the oak wood itself. Okay guys, so now we get to jump into doing the building, I guess, of the front portion of the house. So I went off camera for a little bit. It did do a little bit of, you know, trying to tinker around with stuff, decide on what I wanted to do, just so I wasn't sitting here, you know, bumbling around for a while on camera. Like I probably would be if I just tried to, you know, just go straight through it and that would take hours. So what we're gonna do is try and decide, and I believe I've decided now on where I want the doorway to the house to be. So. I want it to be a three big entryway. Even if it's only walking through one portion, I'd like the entryway itself to be three. I don't know why that just, I mean, it seems nice. I don't really like two by two. I don't really add doors onto my houses anymore. I just have an open entryway and that's that. So 
I put it here. I had it one over, but I think the best option right now is to do uh, this pillar right here, which I believe we actually will be using cobble. Eventually, once the chisel recipe is working, which unfortunately it is not right now, we will be able to chisel this and maybe make it look a little bit nicer. But I want to do this, and then I wanted a three long window uh, just using glass panes. Then I want another pillar like that, and then I want to drop it back. So I want to drop it to some oak wood. So we'll do that right here. I don't know if it'll just be oak wood, but for now, I want to work some oak wood in there. Um, just to get it started, the upper portion of the house will be more wood than the base, but I want to get it in there for now. And then we can go and just start putting this pillar up right here, like so. Get the cobble out. I actually have not used cobble in a build in forever, so pretty excited about that. Uh, now, I don't exactly know how I want to go about doing, uh, I do want to do window panes, though. That's the only other thing. Huh. Okay, you know what? Maybe we need to shift this over more now that I think about it. Because we might need to do like this. I might do this and here, let's try out some, some stone right there and there. Might do that. And then I need to go craft some of the trap doors because I want to use those as window panes. I always love doing that. So let's get, well, we already have what we need. No, we actually don't have what we need if we want to use vanilla wood for that. Okay, so get our trap doors out. We'll just get four right now because we'll only do it on one side. But we'll put these on and we'll see how they would look. So if we were to put these right here and then we were to put a window right there. Do they look good on cobble? I don't actually know. If we were to do that, then I would come over and I'd use stone slabs down here. I'd just use the regular stone to kind of break it up, and then we would get rid of this right here. It would be the three long window, and then we'd have to chop all this down again. You see, this is why I usually do some of this off camera. This is why I usually refrain from building on camera. A lot of people say they think I'm a, a good builder. Which, I mean, it might be true. I don't I don't think I'm a good builder. I think there are better builders, I should say. Uh, but if I am a good builder, then I am a slow one, too. So uh, maybe that's why. I don't know. That's why I usually don't do it on camera a ton. Okay, so we'll do this. And then we got to get these slabs back down on top here. Like so. And then... Man, I need to order my hotbar a little bit better. Because we do not need these. Okay, and I actually don't think I have any glass right now, so might have to hold off. We'll just pr pretend there's windows there. Just pretend. Okay, so we'll do that, and then this is finally where it happens, and like that. Now, I don't know if we actually want to keep trap doors behind these, or if we want to keep cobblestone behind those. Maybe we want regular stone. Maybe that'd look a little bit cleaner. Okay, so after another long attempt at deciding what we're going to do, I believe I've figured it out. So I don't know how this didn't occur to me before, since we had not used any oak wood in the build yet. But I want to use the regular oak wood logs behind the trap door. Obviously, you can see it from the side here, but the main idea was that if you're looking right at it, uh, it's not going to be right in your face, but it's going to be a little bit of an accent where it kind of works well with the nice trap door and it'll slowly work some of the oak coloring into our build. So uh, with that, I also decided to add a little bit of dimension. I was going to kick it back even more so than I thought I would before starting the actual entryway. So I believe the entryway is going to be right here. And the way that we are going to do it on each side is this. And then we'll have to get up to the top over there. And then we'll clear out this area right here. Do a nice, uh, we'll do a nice three by three of these stone slabs for the entryway and the rest of it I, I there's nothing special that i really want to do coming out of here uh at least yet you know maybe we'll have a fountain very fancy uh but i think we'll do this and i don't think there's anything really special i think i might just leave it like this for the entryway i don't know if there's anything special i want to do uh over it right now no special archway or anything but we'll get this on there and now we should be good to pretty much just replicate this over here now on the inside, it is cobble just to mix it up a little bit. So we'll go back to that. Actually thoroughly enjoying using cobble. It's been so, so long since I've had the chance to build with it. Because uh, I just, I never see a real reason to, you know? There's always chiseling and, you know, now, of course, we got to keep switching between these. But there's always chiseling that you can do. 
uh, whether you're using cobble and you chisel it to make it look better, which usually you can, um, or, you know, stone bricks and chiseling or smooth stuff. There's just chiseling. It just gets rid of the need for this cobble. It's a really harsh texture, so I don't know. Something I have not touched on in a very, very long time. So we'll do that and then come over three, put that down, and then this again. And same thing up top. So like that and there now i don't actually know if we're going to get done with the full house today after seeing how long it's taking me to do this and how far i plan on kicking it back but what we might do is build what you know we can get at least the first level done start on the second level and just kind of see where that takes us so we got this done and now over here i'm honestly probably going to duplicate the farm exactly so it ended on that block so we would do this and of course, it'll be the same dimensions because if we're doing a potato farm, it'll be using the farmer. And so we can do that and just, we can start extending it over here. We're gonna run out of stone slabs real quick. So we can do that and just get a general idea of how it's gonna look. So I'm actually liking how it's looking right now. Uh, it's a little bit bland on the front, but do not fear. We can go make some shears and hopefully add a little bit of color to it. You guys should know if you've seen my channel for long enough, that my favorite way of adding, you know, color or kind of accenting stuff when I'm doing builds is going to be using uh, leaves from trees. That's my favorite way to go about doing it. So let's just grab this right here. Get some nice leaves off of this, off of this beautiful tree. Nice lush green leaves. That should be more than enough right there. And, ooh, it's becoming nighttime. Ooh, what is this? Oh, you can do leaf carpet? interesting okay so we got our leaves right here uh, something else we need to do are making a couple more of these because i don't i don't really know when we're going to use them but we'll make we'll make like 30 of those just to test them out and we do have some sand so that is going to get cooked up into some glass and i really hope everyone sleeps you guys are about to see a great bug if you watch chat where when someone goes into their bed to sleep it's going to spam the chat that they're sleeping uh, which I guess is an incentive for other people to sleep so that it goes away. But yeah, it's pretty funny actually. So we'll do this and, you know, just kind of kind of add some here and there. Just, uh, just, you know, all over. Just add a little bit there, there. You know, I don't really know. There's not a ton of places right now to add some um, without kind of getting in the way. Once we have the second floor and you can kind of build up the side or add vines or something, it might be a little bit better. But, I mean, I, I like the way it looks. I think it looks good. You know, we're going to get rid of this on this side. And we'll put one there just because with this here and that having more than this side, it was it was looking pretty dense. But right there, that adds some depth to it. It adds some nice color, uh, some good contrast. And people are not sleeping right now. And even if I wanted to sleep now, I don't even feel bad because if I wanted to sleep, it wouldn't even make it daytime. So, not the worst thing in the world. Uh, something I am contemplating doing up here too is this. Just uh, just an interesting thought to change it up a little bit because we don't really need it to be a full block there. We can still build on top of this. Not really sure also how I want to do the second floor right now. If I want kind of an overhang, uh, which I think is what we're going to go with or what. But now we can start kind of building in on this same idea over here. So how do we do it over there? What we do so we it's already coming into right yeah so it's already coming into you know what i might do is i might wait until it becomes daytime again i really don't want to build in the dark right now it might be kind of hard for you guys to see so i'll probably hop off camera start getting other stuff situated and then we can come back and hopefully finish off wrapping everything around and figure out the generic size of the house okay guys so we are back yet again now there was quite some time between it becoming nighttime and people actually sleeping i think we almost made it through the full night so a little bit dangerous there was actually a witch around here trying to kill me so that was not fun but i did manage to get a little bit of work done on the house in that time now mainly what i'm trying to do right now is figure out what is going on with the farm and as it connects to the house so i think i have this side pretty well planned out uh, i really do like alternating between using windows and fences i think it's just kind of a cool way especially in the farm area to you know mix it up a little bit and what i think we're going to do here is this side is a little bit weird and the reason is because it gets kicked back too uh so it's not the normal kind of length of this farm 
uh, that this side is going to be. So they got to be mixed up a little bit. So this one right here should be good. And I think what we're going to do is end up uh, probably just putting this up there right now. I don't think we're going to do anything else. That should be fine. Might look a little bit weird having a super high doorway there. Well, it's, I mean, it's shorter than that one. But now over here, I'm pretty sure I just want to do regular windows. So the question is, do we copy the ones over there with that style? Or I, I think we do. I think we do. So I think we do this. And it's only going to be two by two this time. Uh, it'll be a little bit different. But I think we go with that style. It'll keep the oak wood getting worked in here, which it's not super common right now. Um, but it'll get some uh, added color going in there. Nope, don't want to place it like that. Actually pretty happy with how the house is turning out so far. Obviously, you know, it's it's nothing super special, but if we do this, then what do we do below it on this side? Do we keep with the, uh, yes, yeah, so we kept with the stone slabs. Looks like I'm going to have to make a couple more. So let's get it going. We should have a, a decent amount of stone left. Yeah, so that should be enough to kind of tide us over for the time being, at least finishing the first floor. So we'll do that. And we should have some glass cooking, too, if we wanted to start setting this up. But I think that actually looks pretty good. Uh, I think the cobblestone harsh texture mixes really well with this. So I'm uh, pretty happy with it. Pretty happy. And then, of course, we'll add leaves all over the place. I just wanted to add them in the front as kind of an example right now. And haven't really expanded over there yet. I'll worry about that later. But I think this will be a pretty good size home. Pretty good size home to start out if we make it multiple floors, lofted ceiling, it'll be good stuff. So, uh, again, I don't know how far we're actually going to make it today because this is taking way longer than I thought it would. Clearly, my building skills are not what I thought they were. Um, but yeah, one thing to note is once this actually gets moved, it will all be situated in this area over here. And the farm will probably go at this block right here and just pump straight back into the house. So it'll just get built into the wall and everything will be good to go and we'll just kind of close off this area right here. So now we gotta get this portion of the house done and I don't actually know how I wanna do it. I think we'll just do a transition the same way that we did before. We'll end up putting windows over here um, or at least do that. I don't know if we want windows because then it becomes iffy with windows being right here and right here and then it's just one huge thing of windows that's the only reason i would question doing that although i don't really know what we do if we don't have windows uh that definitely is how i want to transition it and i'm not sure how far back we want to go let's say let's say we want to come back to about right here let's count this out make sure it's odd one two three four five six seven eight well, that's nine because this would be the this would be the cobblestone block right here. So that that seems like a pretty good chunk of space for the first floor of the house. So we'll do that, and then we got this right here. Always a good tip for building, and I really will refrain from giving building tips because I, I don't think I'm that good at building. But always a good tip for building. Can can we get this up there? There we go. Uh, is if you have an idea like what I'm doing right here. If I have an idea over here as to what it's going to start with, and I kind of have an idea of how big I want it to be, I can put down blocks where it'll end, and you slowly kind of bridge the gap in the middle. Uh, it makes it a lot easier than just kind of staring at stuff randomly. Because what I can do right now is say, okay, well, we've got odd numbers of blocks right here. So let's come right in the middle, which should be this block. Now we've got a gap of three. And let's say... I shouldn't have put that down there, but let's say we want to put down this right here and do another one of these cobblestone things. Okay, so what do we want in between these now? You know, what can we what can we put down here that will look good? So, uh, ooh, you know what? There is the option of doing something that we have not really, really tried yet. Uh, so let's... I want to keep this oak wood here as the only... Only... Uh, kind of issue I'm having so let's do this let's try putting this oak wood right here like so instead of the cobble and I'm trying to think now how we can how we can do this something along the lines I wanted to kind of use slabs as like a like this kind of in the middle I don't know how that would look though because then it'll leave a little bit of a space below and above that might look a little bit weird might be too many slabs though that's what i'm thinking it actually might be too many slabs there i really don't want to do more windows that's the biggest issue what can we do other than windows 
Maybe we just do some more, uh, some more fence posts. Maybe that's what we do. Maybe we do the, this side of the house is fence posts, the other side is windows. Maybe that's a solid bet. We'll go with that for now. How do we do that? So it's stone for those? Yeah. So we did stone below them. We can always tweak it in the future. Uh, but for now, honestly, this is all that I can think to do. So we'll do that right there. And then we can just do fence posts. I don't even have any in my inventory right now. Uh, the only thing that I could possibly question again is if we do cobble in the middle then, this here, and then a single fence post. Let's give that a look. That'll make it a lot less fence posts, which might be a little bit better. Um, because I think doing a 2x3 and then another 2x3 of fence posts is a little questionable. I think it's a lot of fence posts lined up together. And it works with windows because it makes everything look open. But it does not work very well with... Uh, that's the wrong block. It does not work very well with fence posts just because uh, they don't give it the same open feel. They just kind of give it like a, a cluttered look. Okay, so then we had the fence post there. Ooh, you know what? That might be good. Then the fence post will always be the 2 by 2s So let's get rid of these ironwood planks. Can we really not? What? You can't make those? Ugh. What a waste of a good plank. Okay, so we'll get this. We'll make a bunch of sticks out of that. And then we're going to need a little bit more of this oak wood. And we'll just grab that out. And that should be more than enough right there. So 24. And we can just stack those. Okay, so let's put these down and see how they look. So I know this side is a little bit two-dimensional, but if we kick off the roof, if we add uh, either the second floor, we add a balcony, which I think is what we're going to do, and then bring that down around the edges, I think that'll be the way to go about it. And that will kind of add some dimension to it, because there's nothing else that I can really think to do right here. Yeah, because I don't... Maybe, let's try this. Here's one last thing on this side that we'll, we'll look at to see if it'll work. What about moving this back? Or moving everything here out? I don't know which one would be better, though. That would add some nice depth to it. That definitely would. Okay, you know what? I'll go off camera and do that because this will take way too long to do on camera. See how it looks and... Uh, Hopefully it looks better. Okay guys, so we are back for the last time in the episode. I know there was a ton of cutting, but that's just kind of what happens when I have to build. I apologize. So hopefully you guys will kind of expect this now when you ask me to do building episodes, but we should be able to finish up a fair bit here. Uh, obviously we're not going to get to the second floor today. I'll do that off camera before next episode, and I will move everything inside the house just so that we can jump back into actually kind of doing some modded Minecraft content. Uh, but what we're going to do now is just finish off this side. I did decide, and I guess I can show you guys over here before we do this, but I did decide to bump the walls out one. So, like this, I think it looks pretty good. It adds some depth to it, uh, and it's actually occurring to me now that I forgot to put this over here, and we got one extra slab. So, I'm actually really liking how it looks. These I don't know why I have not used these stone slabs more. That The color is really nice. It goes really well with this green, so... Really, really liking how things are turning out. So this needs to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then, then there's the corner block. And then 1, 2, 3. Whoa, block lag. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, it looks like I just cleared out enough space for it. Awesome. So hopefully we have enough of these stone slabs to go all the way through. Definitely not going to have enough oak fencing to go, but can always go fix that and yes yeah, so we got it like that and then it's gonna come through again in the back okay so we got to get the cobble down over here start building that up and then we're gonna do these windows again which should be it should be the the wood yeah so it's gonna be this will be right here and then we got to get the regular stone down over here with the with the oak wood and so then we do two, and that's going to be another window, right? Yeah. And then we do stone again right here. And this one, which should be the middle block, one, two, three, four, five. Nice. Do that. Wood and that. So there we go. And we can put some cobble here. And then we just got to start building this across. Oh, that's where it is. I was going to say, where'd our stone go? 
So fill that in. And got to get these up here too. I don't even think we're going to put the glass in today. I might do that before the thumbnail, but I'm getting uh, I'm getting carried away with doing the, the rest of this building right here. So do that. And two more. And then that. And done. So now we just got to throw the wood in, which will be here, here, and there we go. Okay, so that one's all good to go. Now we got to finish off this side, which I made some extra fences for. So the fences go directly right here on the side. And should do the same thing over here. And then I assume we have, what do we have, cobble? Yeah. Okay, so we did cobble again right there. And like that. Okay, so things are finally getting, uh, getting close to being done. This is where the potato farm will go. I think potatoes are one of the better foods, uh, cooking the potatoes. They become an actual viable food to use. Uh, ooh. Yeah, so it looks like actually some space needs to be cleared over here. So I might call it an episode there. This whole area is going to have to get cut down and then kind of terraform to make it look natural again. Um, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. Let me know if you enjoyed the building. I know it's probably a little bit rambly and, and you know, we really don't talk about much. I can't. I'm bad at trying to build and like tell stories at the same time. I can't multitask very well. So I do apologize, but hopefully you guys got some good ideas, some good tips, or just enjoyed, you know, my company. If you're watching this on a second monitor playing some other game, possibly Minecraft, who knows? But if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give it a like as it does help me out a lot. And there is one thing I wanted to talk about before we go off camera now. Um, and that was something that someone brought up to me recently in a comment which is that I am very sporadic with my series. I start a lot of them and I never finish them. And uh, that is something I, I've wanted to apologize for and I'm really bad about it. The only series that I ever follow through with are surviving with. And that has been a staple of my channel for I think like two years now. It's been doing really well and, and I enjoy doing that. And I'll start other series trying to branch out and it's not for me. Uh, they're not you know well thought out. They don't have any longevity and I, I kind of get, you know, bored and then they just kind of fall by the wayside and that's it. And I apologize for that. So there are series on my channel that have kind of disappeared. So I apologize if you guys are looking forward to those. A lot of them will probably be done. I don't I don't know about any of the other series on my channel right now other than this one and surviving with actually additions. I would like to make these two the main uh, series on the channel and hopefully it will be uh, all the creators, and a Surviving With series. And that will be kind of where we're going from here on out. So again, I apologize. I've never really been great at doing that. And I wanted to kind of give you guys a heads up before, you know, it gets too far in and, you know, people are really questioning it. Keep you guys in the loop, but feel free to let me know what you guys think in the comments. Again, I apologize for being so sporadic with it. Um, but like I said, a Surviving With series will always be going on. And then I'd like to make this the other main series on my channel as a lot of work has been put into it. There's a lot of guys in the server, a lot of great other content creators, which, you know, offers up great collabs and a lot of fun stuff that can be done. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. It seems like a lot of you were. Um, but yeah, I guess uh, I'll stop rambling now. And thanks for watching, guys. I will talk to you later.